my boys and girls. In celebration of Earth Day today, I have chosen a book. It's called, It's Earth Day. Today, we learn all about Earth Day. It is a special day. It is when we celebrate our planet. We watched a movie about the Earth's climate. Climate is how hot or cold it usually is outside. The Earth is getting hotter and the ice at the North Pole is melting. That's where the polar bears live. Yikes! I have to help slow down the melting. Dad, I asked, what can I do to stop the ice from melting? Let's find out, he said. It turns out that the energy we use during everyday things like driving cars and watching TV is making the earth warmer. We have to save energy, I said. I turned off the computer and all the lights as fast as I could to save energy. Be careful, Dad, I said. The next morning, when little sister was brushing her teeth, I turned the faucet off. Saving water helps the polar bears, I said. I didn't want to take the school bus the next morning, but Mom said, the bus saves energy because all the moms and dads don't have to drive their cars. Good thinking, Mom. After school, my friends and I collected cans, bottles, and newspapers, and then took them to the recycling center. We put the money we earned in a big jar to give to Critterville Charity, called We Love Polar Bears. The next day was Earth Day. Our whole class went to the park to plant trees. Trees are good for the earth. They suck up bad stuff in the air. It was hard work. Come on guys, I said, do it for the earth and for the polar bears. Our teacher thought I should dig smaller holes. We made signs that said, reduce, reuse, recycle. Then we put the signs up everywhere to remind everyone how they can help too. That night I couldn't sleep. So I went to the kitchen for a snack. Then I saw a little sign that said, climate control. That's it, I yelled. I know how to save the polar bears. I have to change the climate. The next morning I got right to work. I made a list just like mom would do. Next I drew up the plans just like dad. Little sister helped collect everything on the list. The most important thing was ice. We needed lots of ice. I put all the parts together. What is it, Mom asked. It's a climate control machine, I answered. It will cool down the earth and save the polar bears. How does it work, asked Mom. Well, I said, the fan blows air all over the ice and makes the earth cooler and keeps the ice at the North Pole from melting and that will save the polar bears. I put a thermometer on top. I waited for the climate control machine to start working, but my ice kept melting, so I had to borrow ice from everyone in my neighborhood. I worked very hard all day long, but the temperature start stayed the same. Finally, after it became dark, it got cooler. Hooray! But the next morning, the temperature went back up. The climate control machine doesn't work, I said. It will never save the polar bears. That's not true, said Dad. Because of what we learned, I turned off my computer at night. Little sister turns off the water when she brushes her teeth. And we all turn off the lights when we leave the room. Then Dad added, you and your friends collected bottles cans and newspapers to recycle. You also planted trees for fresh, clean air. That made me think. Wow, I said, we are all climate control machines because everything you do can help save the earth. Don't forget the polar bears. That's the end of our book today. See you later, friends. Bye.